located on the west coast, between the vast stretches of the Arabian Sea and the rising heights of the Western Ghats, is the district of South Kannada with Mangalore City as its headquarters. Its excellent connections by road, rail, sea and air make the region industrially vibrant. It was in this city that five leading banks of the country had their inception. Mangalore also stands out as a major educational and healthcare centre. Yet, a hundred years ago, its inhabitants sorely lacked education and basic healthcare facilities and ignorance and disease were rampant. People afflicted by malaria and plague had nowhere to go for treatment. Leprosy patients did not receive the respect that they deserved as human persons. Among the Jesuits from Venice who had arrived in India was Father Augustus Muller, a practicing homeopath. In time, he moved his dispensary to Kankanadi. Thus was born Father Muller Charitable Institutions. Who was Father Muller? He was a young German who joined the seminary when he once took very ill and was given homeopathic treatment which proved highly effective. He therefore decided to study the system. So earnest was he in his learning that the owners of Soleri Bellotti homeopathic specifics gave him the formula of the medicines. Armed with this, Father Muller came to India convinced that he had been chosen by God as an instrument to treat illness using homeopathy. He worked with supreme concern for the poor, the leprosy afflicted and the plague ridden. It earned him the British government's Kaisery Hymn. Father Muller deeply inspired a group of laymen and women who had come to assist him to run the dispensary and convert it into a hospital. He recognized the need for allopathy and sent Lawrence Fernandez to Bombay to earn an allopathic medical degree. Thereafter, the hospital expanded. Today one looks back with wonder at the transformation that has taken place in the institution since its formation. From a single dispensary to a multi-speciality hospital. From 20 beds to 1,250 beds. From 10 health workers to over 2,000 doctors, nurses, technical staff and students. Today, Father Muller is a byword for service and dedication, inspiring hope and trust. The Sisters of Charity arrived from Italy in 1898 to care for the sick. The Sisters of this congregation are still serving the institution with utmost devotion and regard to the great founder and visionary. Every successor of Father Augustus Muller has lived true to the founder's vision and has endeavoured to shape to its new contexts. That vision has established the institution as a standard bearer of repute in healthcare and healthcare education. When Father Muller passed away in 1910, he left behind him a young hospital in the hands of a young team dedicated to service, creating additional facilities for patients with a mandate. Treating patients with compassion was a divine decree. What we see today on the 36-acre campus at Kankarnadi is the founder's vision realized with scope for future realization too. With a state-of-the-art hospital, medical college, homeopathic medical college and hospital, Institute of Nursing and College of Allied Sciences, the institution stands tall. It brings under its umbrella 3,000 students, nearly 500 qualified faculty members and over 1,500 non-teaching staff. Today the Father Muller institutions offer the following degrees MBBS, MD, MS, MCH, BHMS, MD Homeo, Diploma in General Nursing, PC, BSc Nursing, BSc Nursing, MSc and PhD Nursing, MHA, Medical Laboratory Technology, Imaging Technology, Radiotherapy, BPT, MPT Physiotherapy, BASLP. Father Muller Hospital has a capacity of over 1,250 beds. 
while the intensive care units of the medical, surgical and pediatric specialities have the highest number of beds and ventilators in all of Dakshin Kannada. While the outpatient department treats over 2000 patients daily, the 24-hour patient care service has enabled the hospital to reach out to those in need of medical services at any time of day or night. Father Muller's Charitable Hospital has the distinction of being the first of its kind in Karnataka to receive accreditation from the prestigious bodies like NABA, NABH and NAC. The institution possesses more than 32 speciality and super speciality units equipped with sophisticated equipment which provides extremely accurate diagnosis. Truly futuristic in its services and technology, every effort has been made to provide world-class care to the financially disadvantaged at the lowest cost possible. The Father Muller Oncology Center, a specialty unit dedicated to cancer treatment, care and research, was inaugurated in 2007 by late President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Among the various facilities the institution offers are specialized intensive care units, highly developed cat labs, a Burns intensive care unit which is one of a kind in our city, surgical and neonatal intensive care units, diabetes and endocrinology clinics, a high-risk birthing center, a 24 by 7 computerized dialysis center equipped to provide care to patients with kidney failure. This is the biggest 24 by 7 dialysis unit in the city and performs over 1700 dialysis in a month. In addition, Father Muller's runs a voluntary donation blood bank with screening facilities fully equipped operation theatres and a round-the-clock radiology unit. It also offers physiotherapy, laboratory and ambulance or transport services and medical store facilities. In 1966, the institution started the first ever psychiatric care unit in the private sector in Karnataka for persons with mental disorders. It also possesses a de-addiction center where patients dependent on substances are treated. The Father Muller Simulation and Skill Center is the latest addition and the institution is justifiably proud of it. A pioneering unit in South India, it is equipped with high fidelity skill trainers in the field of simulation and is the first in Mangalore to be accredited by the American Heart Association as an authorized training center for CPR and ECG courses. The awe of the institutions and their sophisticated infrastructure has drawn students from a wide geographical tract to pursue healthcare education. Father Muller spares no effort in shaping students into exemplary healthcare specialists and ensures their holistic development. Situated at the heart of the campus is the Knowledge Center with its impressive array of learning resources. An attached auditorium hosts diverse curricular and extracurricular events. The campus being Wi-Fi enabled promotes communication and e-learning. The vast grounds are utilized to conduct sports. On-campus hostels serve over 3,000 students with home-like comfort and care and provide them with an environment conducive to learning. An affordable on-campus canteen serves delicious and hygienic food and is open to all. Banking facilities provided on the premises make for greater ease in monetary transactions. The recently commissioned and highly developed Father Muller Convention Center is the ideal venue for conferences and ceremonies. The complex is equipped with three halls, over 3,000 seating facilities, synchronized illumination, an indoor stadium and multi-level parking facilities. The School of Nursing was established in 1959 and the College of Nursing in 1987 and have the distinction of providing the nation with some of its finest nurses. The College of Homeopathy is a gift of the institution's centenary, the celebrations of which were presided over by Mother Teresa. Today the Homeopathic Medical College has its own campus with a hospital and a manufactory at Derla Katte and hostels for boys and girls. 
there are 400 students in the 12 UG and 7 PG departments. Basic research is carried out in the areas of mental retardation and hyperactivity among others. An ultra-modern homeopathic pharmaceutical division supplies high-quality medicines to the UK, the USA, the Middle East, several Asian countries and places all over India. In 2013, the Father Muller Charitable Hospitals took over the Thumbay Hospital with the sole purpose of providing rural healthcare services. A 150-bed hospital with speciality and super-speciality departments provide medical relief to over 250 patients a day and serves as a blessing to rural communities. The Father Muller Group of Institutions focuses its attention on charity work that benefits society at large. The Poor Man's Hospital, an appellation justly earned, runs with the primary mission of providing healthcare benefits to people who cannot afford expensive medical care. Indeed, 16 outreach centers cater to the needs of patients resident in distant locations. With 840 free beds along with free care in the general ward, the hospital offers quality care at the lowest rates in the city. How does the Father Muller group sustain its charitable nature and care of the poor employing cutting-edge technology given the escalation of cost of medical services with well-articulated financial management policies yes but more importantly owing to the consistent support of well-wishers in India and abroad it is they who sustain this great call to heal and comfort year after year director after director The earth has no roads. Pioneers lay them down. Father Augustus Muller did. And his legacy lives on.